Hello everyone, welcome to our honest review of the Tileformers Kickstarter set of tiles. Uh, we've been sent this awesome set from our friends, of course, Joel and Dave from Mithril Armory. They are a sponsor, and I will say that even though we are sponsored by them on our stream, this will be an honest review. Dave told me to give you guys an honest review of what I think of the tile system that they have put forth. Um, I will give you kind of an idea of what I might use it for, um, some things that may want to be uh, approved upon um, during the Kickstarter and afterwards once it is funded. It is funded, I think, over a thousand percent. I've seen it at this point, uh, and we're really excited to talk about it. Uh, first off, just so you guys know, so if you don't know already what this is, Tile Formers is a set of tiles um, for your tabletop RPG experience. They are magnetic on the sides and on the front and the back, and they kind of just connect together. Um, they have magnets inside, uh, and right now, obviously, these are just the, um, the prototypes that I've been sent, so they are not final, um, but uh, they also have stickers that stick to them with different features and such. Um, I'm really excited about the, um, the quick setup nature of these tiles. Uh, oftentimes, it takes me hours to set up certain encounters uh, using some of the other tile systems out there uh, for tabletop RPG, so I'm excited to play with this a little bit and have some fun um, and then talk about potential uses for myself, uh, not only on my live streams, but also in uh, some home games and some private games as well. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, I've set up a little bit of a uh, kind of terrain here system. I've got a little bit of a road coming through. I've got Bacalhau and Yanil kind of maybe scoping out the countryside to find out where they're going to settle in. Um, you can see that these are double-sided tiles. One side is kind of grass, the other side is stone. So they're reversible on all sides. And then of course these are the road tiles and they have grass on the other side. And I've already seen a bunch of new styles with water and shorelines and all this kind of stuff that they'll be of course um, releasing. I'm also very excited about the value that you get for these because um, the price on them is very competitive compared to some of the other tile systems that exist. Um, what I do like about this is that I've set this up really quickly. This take, took no time um, in order to set up. And I think for me, the value here is the ability to create on the fly. Um, you know, when I have a live stream, for example, um, I will typically use Dornforge or WizKids or some of the other bigger tile systems because uh, I have the time to do it and we have the um, access to all of the wonderful stuff that's been sent to us by our partners and our sponsors up to this point. Um, but in this case, if I were having the party travel, for example, this would be a great way to do that. And what I would do is this. I would have, say for example, Bacalhau and Yanil end up moving this way. You can then, if you have more tiles, I have limited amounts um, that were sent to me, but then you can literally just continue the storyline as you go. So really, really quickly, put a bend in the road here, continue to grab some more grass, if I wanna fill this in, and you could very, very quickly, I love how they just click into place, that's actually quite fun. Uh, and you can just have them kind of continue on um, along the road wherever you have them go. Um, and if you have a lot more tiles, you can actually create a much larger area and have it continue to grow. I love that they're magnetic, so I can literally slide them around my table and they maintain their, their uh, connectivity um, and their form that I have. Uh, I do like that, you know, if you come around this corner here, all of a sudden, hey, you know, maybe down here you come to a house. And so if I were to build really quickly, I could throw down some tiles here on the bottom. Oh, this one's a different one. That's not a ground tile. Um, down at the bottom here, um, grab some more. So even you can see with a very limited set of tiles, I could do quite a bit here. Um, I can, you can even slide them across, which is really cool. But I can have, they come to a house and you know, for them, I guess from a demo perspective, they've loved to show how you can build a house. So let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build a stone house here. Uh, and the idea here is that you quickly set up these walls. These are Tudor walls inside and outside. That's an interior wall. 
That's an exterior wall. And you can very, very quickly, and I love the ease of use here. Um, that's what really excites me about this whole thing, um, is you can very quickly build a house. And you can see one of these pieces already has a door on it. Um, it looks like a magical door there, the way that it's, uh, the way that it's glowing. Um, and then like that as well. So you can see very quickly, I built kind of a house situation. Uh, they have some dormers, uh, or not dormers rather, but some, um, what do you want to call them? Um, roof pieces, I guess, which I can create a roof like that. And then I can take this, I want to, do I want to make thatch? Uh, I can take a thatch roof. Where's my thatch roof here? Then we have thatches. If I want a thatched roof, I can just add a roof really quickly like this. So I love that. I love the idea that I can create something super quick uh, on the tabletop that I can use while kind of on the move. Uh, if my party is going to go somewhere I didn't expect, which happens quite often, um, that is a perfect example of what that can be used for. Uh, they're traveling. I'm like, oh, I didn't know they were going to go there. Well, there's a house and I literally built it in no time. We kind of come down the road and there you are at the house. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and then just as quickly, I can just take it apart, which is great. And that is quicker than any other tile system I've seen from a building perspective. Um, obviously you lose some of the detail and maybe immersive nature of it, but at the same time, sometimes speed is important. Um, so I love that. I love the idea that you can, um, I love the idea that you can build on the fly as you go and move, especially for areas. I also see myself using this in personal games. So if I'm traveling and I want to run a game for friends at a cottage or on vacation, you know, carrying a bunch of these tiles in your bag is much more manageable than some of the larger kind of more beefier bits, if that makes sense. I also wanted to show you what it might look like if you use some of the other tile system kind of terrain. So this is, for example, a Dwarven Forge building on the tile set. Very cool. I like that. And then this, for example, is a WizKids Warlock tile house. Um, there are no roofs on these houses just yet, but you can see that that's also very cool too. Uh, we can even twist it this way so that the door is there. So you can see that as a base um, for, the ter for your terrain, very, very, very cool uh, and very awesome. Um, some of the things uh, for me, I think that could uh, improve, obviously they're making improvements. They've told me that the, some of these uh, tiles obviously right now have are kind of hollow in the middle. They're going to make them solid so you don't see some of this sort of indent, indenting that happens. Um, the shakiness and the rattliness, I don't know if that changes. It doesn't really affect everything except maybe on live stream. Could be a lot of extra noise there. I don't know if the magnets in there can change that way or be more. Uh, those are some of the suggestions. Uh, and with any tile system, I guess the other suggestion is just making sure that you have enough to be able to use. Uh, roads, grass is great, but I'd love to see the more I have, the more um, applications I can use it for. So if I have a shoreline, I can use a shoreline. If I've got um, whatever, swamp, um, different things, I can basically take my party anywhere and allow them to do that. For myself, I would probably use them more of a base so that I can build a, a town kind of uh, scenario or something like that for me. Um, I think the three by three works. Uh, you can see, for example, that uh, the WizKids stuff works on a four by four kind of grid. Um, and the Dwarven Forge also works more on a four by four grid as well. Uh, but that's okay when it comes to using it for the purpose that I have here. Um, and as long as it's gridded in a one inch grid, you can pretty much use it for whatever you need to use it for, for your tabletop. Um, I love it. I love the, um, the simplicity of it. I love the quickness of it. I love the fact that you can get through it really, really fast, 
snapping them off, replacing them. And there's oftentimes, like I said, where you're traveling down a road, you've got a random encounter happening, and then the party kind of splits, and then you can build from there. Uh, and I would totally use these for random encounters um, on my tabletop. So that's my honest review. Thanks to the Mithril guys for sending this our way and for their ongoing sponsorship. Really appreciate it. And uh, it's definitely something you want to check out, especially for the cost versus value perspective. Um, there's a lot more that you can get on the table this way um, in a quicker amount of time. There it is. Enjoy it. Make sure that you check them out. Uh, I believe it's tileformers.com. Um, and uh, enjoy. Enjoy.